But uh, hello, it's me, Random Ralph. I'm here with Miss Dynamite, the lovely, lovely Naomi. Thank you. I don't know to I prefer you call me Naomi. Oh, Naomi. You know, in Random Ralph, we're going to ask you some random questions. Are mm -hmm. you ready? First question. Go on. What do you put on toast? Butter. Just butter? Uh, it depends on the mood I'm in. Butter, butter, um, jam sometimes, honey. Yeah. Honey, jam. And you don't know weird stuff like Beatles or? No, I'm not. You know what? My brother makes a whip. Not so much now, but when he was younger, he would take anything that was in the cupboard. And when I say anything, I yeah. mean anything. Stuff that does not go and just make a sandwich about that big, toasted sandwich with. I don't know, gherkins, mayonnaise, cheese, and that doesn't sound that bad. Jam and peanut butter and yeah, ketchup, HP, so anything that was in the cupboard would be in a, okay. a toasted sandwich. But I'm cool, yeah, just, just jam. Cool. What do you have in Nando's? I don't go to Nando's. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> a vegetarian. Well, you don't get that halloumi cheese or whatever it's called. Halloumi, no, yeah, no, no. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't go to Nando's because they specialise in chicken. Yeah. I just never aura, really thought of. Yeah. But piri piri chips, they're good. Piri okay. piri chips. But I just yeah, I don't really go there. There's not much for me to choose so, off so the menu. So what's your restaurant of choice? Um, my restaurant of choice would probably be um, in Spiral in Camden, which is a vegan. Calf slash internet calf slash yeah vegan health spot. It's I'm nice, really it. nice. Try it, honestly, try it. When you wake up in the morning, do you get yourself ready or do you get your son ready? Um, I get myself ready. You know what? My son is so independent. Seriously, a couple of weeks ago, I probably shouldn't tell you this. No, no go on. Go on. Such a terrible <laughs> mum. About two weeks ago, I, when I say I was tired, I hadn't slept for a good 48 maybe more than that hours and uh, me and my son woke up and he woke up at like six o'clock in the morning and I said son I need just half an hour I probably went to sleep about an hour before yeah. I said just give me half an hour he and usually half an hour would mean half an hour yeah. I woke up he woke me up at quarter past eight and said mum I'm ready he'd made his own breakfast got himself mean? showered cereal got himself showered got his clothes on for school, got like got himself ready, got his reading folder together, everything, and said, Mum, and I found Grandma, and Grandma's gonna take me to school. I'm just gonna go out and play football in the garden until she comes for me. Oh. And I was like, oh my God! I felt like such a, t such a bad mum. So yeah, he gets him. Yeah, it's good. I'm very proud of that, but I was just like, oh. He's growing up, but yeah. So he gets himself ready, but we kind of do it together. I race him, because he's a bit of a slow coach. I race with him. But okay. Who often wins? Always me. Always me. Because he always needs to do do as we're going out. I shouldn't. Well, sorry. No, it's cool. Let me not it's let cool. About your, it's cool it's for cool you. For me. He's going to be like, Mum, why are you telling people my business for? Yeah, you can sorry. watch this years from now and be like, Mum, you owe me. <laughs> yeah, he will be. Back in your childhood, what cartoons did you used to watch? Oh my gosh. Gummy Bears, Tom and Jerry, um, Thundercats. Uh, I love cartoons. He Man. Okay. What was your um, favourite one then? My favourite, I think one of my favourite, oh, Thundercats was probably my favourite, followed by Gummy Bears, followed by, what was that, the raccoons? You don't even, you're, yeah, you're looking at me like, right now. Um, See, I this is know. when you're making me show my age now. Okay, but Tom so and Jerry, that's a classic. Yeah. Which one did you prefer, Tom or Jerry? Jerry, always Jerry. Because Tom was mean, and Jerry always outsmarted him. So you like the, you like the people that are smart? Yeah, the kind of underdog that might be a bit smaller, that might, but still going to outsmart. Yeah, that's my, okay. that's my one. In the industry, who do you think is secretly a softie but doesn't flex like they are? Secretly a softie? Do you know what? I just, I think everybody is. I think we all have a, a hard side and we all have a soft side. And usually those of us that put out the hard, yeah. are usually the softest. So, the you know, yeah, stuff. yeah, we're usually the softest. That's that's just kind of how it goes. And then those that are usually the, the soft ones don't play with them because you're never expecting that. that. Just and then the suddenly you turn around and like, wow, where did that come from? Um, yeah, I kind of think it's in all of us, to be honest. Okay. It depends on the situation, the circumstance. My favorite gadget. Oh. Gadget, gadget, gadget. Mm. 
I used to be such a gadget person. I don't. Have Do you know what I would say if it, if it counts? Is iPod Touch. Yeah, that's a gadget. Try. Yeah, that's a gadget. What apps do you put on it? Um, no, I'm not good with that. You know what? I'm stuck on. Angry You're gonna Birds. be like, what's wrong with? No, Angry Birds. I kind of. I went through that phase. Yeah. I'm on Ninja. Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja. Oh, God, listen. When I tell you that thing, my son, me and my son fighting, listen, it's my turn. Yeah, I'm addicted to Fruit Ninja. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm says, surprised. Why? <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't what? expecting, I wasn't expecting <laughs> eye, eye touch and then Ninja. Yeah, you know, so you know what? I'm such a, I'm a child. I'm such child a, I'm such a baby. Yeah, I'm a baby. I, not even just a child. I'm a seven year old. Whatever son, whatever age my son Sunny. is. That's kind of, I just get onto his level and that's it. I kind of oh. find it difficult to have adult conversations after a while. Cool. <laughs> anything you want to ask me? Anything you want to ask me, random? Um, okay, random. What toothpaste do you use? Okay. Okay, what colour is your toothbrush? Blue. Blue, okay. What's your favourite colour? Beige. Beige? Yeah. Why beige? Because it used to be orange, but then I used to get... My favourite colour was orange! Oh, see, Why was your favourite colour orange? I don't know, it's like orange, really. Yeah, oh, okay. But then, I don't know, maybe I grew older and it's orange. Beige. Okay, what do you think that says about your character? Well, purple's like a royal colour, isn't it? Okay. So I like to think it's because, you know, I'm of that kind of... Hierarchy. I don't know about hierarchy, but just, you know, I like to think of myself as a queenly human being. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, I want to give you some more questions. Yeah, That's a good I want, one. I want someone to give me a hard one. Cause okay. No one seems to what vegetables do you like? Vegetables? Mm. Ooh. I have to be careful when I'm talking to you. Okay. Um, I don't want to say fruit. People often get no. Mm. Asparagus. That's Aspar a, is that, is that vegetable, yeah? What star sign are you? Capricorn. Are you Capricorn? Okay. Asparagus is my fa Asparagus and broccoli. Yeah. You're trying to. Did you have you done some research no, somewhere along the line? Read that For real, I've never told anyone that. Yeah. Okay. What is your somewhere in the world you've never been that you would like to go to, and why? Hmm. Hmm, I've never been to. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Vegas. Okay, why? Okay. I'm a guy who doesn't really sleep. Okay, okay. so you're a night person. Yeah. Where's the best place you've ever been so far? And why? Nigeria. Okay. Well, it's my hometown, so obviously when I went there, I felt mm -hmm. like a king and mm -hmm. I was experiencing the culture. Right. And Okay, but what? why? What was their specific? Because it was, was everything I assumed it would be. Okay. Because obviously I um, fought by my parents mm -hmm. and it was true. So mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, pleas pleasantly surprised that they weren't lying to me. Okay, like, no way. I'll show you guys occasionally. No, and never. So I'll be home in an hour and then... Uh, Alright, them ones, yeah, yeah, okay. He gets them ones. It's like, mom. Yeah, okay. I would really like to... I would like to go to Nigeria. I've yeah. never been to well, Nigeria. Well, when I go next time, I will let Hit you. Hit me up, do. that's it. Yeah, we do that, do that. Yeah. Bring your son along. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, let's do it, do it. One word to describe the day you've had so far with me and all the interviews you've done and running around London. One word to describe today in London. Um, I want to say fun. But I feel like it's more than fun. Like it's been, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, spectacular. Eventful. Watch him. It's spectacular. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, um, oh my gosh, mm, one word. It really have to be one. Go and give us. I'm a woman of many words. I had the answer. <laughs> okay, so I would say it's been enlightening. It's been inspiring. It's been a tiring I'm not gonna lie not you no no but just uh, in general I probably haven't slept for I don't know how long actually I had a good night's sleep last night what am I talking about but I'm just generally living in the space of being tired um enlightening positive fun bubbly um 
Spectacular. I like that one. We'll, we'll go with spectacular. We'll spectacular. Yeah, cool. Let's Beautiful. do that. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Thank for, you. For being here with thank you. Oh, thank so, you. It's all good. It's all that good. was fun. Yeah, I like to do fun stuff. No, it is. It's cool.